Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, let's just get right into it. We're gonna be softening up the front with an actual razor and we're gonna be doing some fringe. We're gonna be doing some layers. We're gonna be doing this on a Bob, a Robert, a Bob, a Robert. What is it? Is it a Robert or is it a Bob? That's gonna be a chin length Robert. Yeah, Bob, yeah, whatever. Anyways, it is gonna be super amazing. Stay tuned, it's coming right up. I'm in gray, you can actually say, uh, I mean, I'm not in all gray, but you know, it is what it is. Softer color, it's getting chilly. Yeah, let's just get into the video, eh, whatever. Let's do this. All right guys, so I've already gotten my, you know, mannequin wet here. I would use the word moist, but whatever. Let's, you know, let's just not even talk about that. So what we're gonna be doing, I found the natural part right here in the front, and then I'm gonna be going in with an actual razor here. And I've never used this specific type of razor, um, but I'm actually gonna be using, it's a really small razor. This would actually be a razor you could be using on your face if you wanted to clean up some stuff, take out a little bit of hair right through here. You know what I mean? It's actually considered a nape razor, but we're gonna be taking this small of razor and you can see how big that actual blade is. It's a replaceable blade. So what I want to do is we are going to be starting over here on the her right side. I'm not really too concerned about getting the, the front fringe because we're actually gonna be layering everything here. Now I'm just going to take out kind of like around the hairline here, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of push the rest of this hair back. Let's cart, let's not cart, let's start some cutting here. Now I wanna make this about, I'm gonna start this about where that, you know, right here, essentially like right in the middle of that eye right there. And I'm just gonna keep this layering going all the way around. Now, as you'll see, as I start to approach down here in this bottom portion, I'm not going like all the way back. I'm just really kind of coming into this. I'm kind of staying right here in front of the actual ear, okay? Let's take this side. And I always like to go from like left to right or right to left because I wanna make sure everything is going to be balanced. That is super important. I mean, if you're technically trained where you can do all one side and make sure the other side's absolutely perfect, good for you. Nobody likes a bragger or a show off. So what I want you guys to pay attention to here really, really super quick is when I was cutting over through here, I was actually using the heel. Now this is gonna be considered the actual heel of the razor, and this is gonna be considered the toe. So towards the end is gonna be the toe, and this is gonna be the heel. And so when I cut this way, I cut more with the heel, and when I cut this way, I cut more with the toe. And so keep that in mind, guys, if you guys are doing this, you are gonna get better control if you are doing it like that. All right, so now that we've got both the right and the left side, we're going to finish off on the right side. Take another little section down just like that. And you can see where that guide is underneath there and that guide just goes just like that. And so I'm just going to cut right over the top of this, just removing. Now we're gonna come over here to this side. Now I'm gonna take the remainder of the right side here 
All right, guys, so I'm just warming up my hands here because it is freezing in my studio. And as you can see, this is like a nice little, whoo, oh yeah. Anyways, so when I go to get this style, guys, I'm gonna do it two different ways. I'm gonna do one that's either gonna be curled in and I'm gonna do one that's actually flipped out. Now, you guys will see that styles evolve and they come back. Trends evolve and they come back. And so what we're seeing right now is we're seeing kind of a 60s and 70s influence with the, like the curtain and the, like the shags and all that good stuff. And that's kind of the influence of the 60s and 70s. But me actually curling a side in is actually gonna give you more of an influence of the 90s. And you're gonna start to see that. That's gonna come back as well. So let's go ahead and get this styled right now. And as I warm up my hands again, cause <laughs> it is cold in here. All right guys, so as you guys can see, you know, I did the left side kind of under and I did the right side kind of flipping out. Now, these were actually cut exactly the same way. What we did is we actually like razored it right here in the front. We found that natural part and then we just kind of razored this down just like that. Now, I really want you guys to pay attention to how styling can give vastly different effects, right? Very 60s and 70s, very kind of like 90s, early 2000s, very current, even like right now. Both are very, very acceptable. Again, you know, showing you guys, once you get the foundation down, the way you accessorize with your styling tools and we were using a combination of these kind of different styling actual brushes itself, a round brush versus something like this, which is actually gonna create this side. Actually, I'll switch it. This is basically how we use both of these, okay? So with that kind of uh, thing, you can see how, how kind of fun you can have with a shape like this. Now again, you know, feel free to do it like this, feel free to do it like that as well. A lot of times people don't really understand that. So I hope that makes a lot of sense. I hope you guys enjoyed what I showed you guys today. I'm gonna link everything below. So if you're interested in it, check it out. You know, really, really cool stuff. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you guys here really, really quick how I actually shoot the thumbnail. You know what I mean? I don't even know why this is uh, important, but you know what? We're gonna do this. So get my makeshift uh, backdrop here. So when we set this up, you know, we, we, we hope that the lighting is gonna be fairly decent. You know, we're kind of using, I'm so used to using, when it comes down to photography, I'm actually using strobes and whatnot and not uh, consistent lights like this, but that's neither here nor there. So let's just get into it, you know what I mean? So when I set my mannequin head up, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm usually looking at the lights kind of coming in right through here. We're gonna doctor this up with a little bit of product because why not, you know? Some of my favorites, you know. You know, as you can see when you take like a little bit of stuff, you know, because really at the end of the day, man, we really like the, the cool thing is that products really just kind of bring out, you know, they take your hair from like ordinary to extraordinary. You know, and there's some people that overuse products. And as you can see, we're just kind of like spraying just a little bit in there, really just kind of enhance, enhance kind of what we're trying to do. If you actually have a really nice blow dry on there, you don't really need that much product, which is actually super dope. So let's be begin the chaos. You know, usually what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the, the light right at the temples. You know, I want something that, and if I turn this a little bit like this, you're gonna start to see, when you actually are starting to take photos of your work, one of the really, the, the things you really wanna to start to look at, you wanna to start to look at like the silhouette of everything, right? Like what is the two dimensional shape creating, you know? And one of the things that, you know, if I'm gonna turn it just a little bit like this, I'm actually gonna turn that out a little bit. And so you can really start to see how that angle is coming out, which is super, super awesome, right? 
and I'm going to, going to kind of bring this in just a little bit. And when I go to spray, which is super, I'm going to kind of spray just like that to really kind of show off. And I'll use my fingers and my hands to really just make that look. And then if I want this to kind of kick out a little bit more, I'm gonna kind of spray behind that to kind of get that to kick out a little bit through there, right? And so you can really start to see that. I mean, it's gonna look weird if you shoot it right from the front, but if we put it like that and you can see how cool that looks, just like that, right? If I was going to show it just from this angle, this looks weird. Like, like look how it looks from the front angle. That just looks super weird, right? But you turn it a little bit like that and you can really kind of start to show off how this opens up around the face just like that. And you can start to see the other really cool thing. I mean, if this was like a real person, I'd be spraying hairspray in her eye. <laughs> she wouldn't like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that would actually be, she's like, dude, quit spraying at my eye. It's a mannequin head, right? The other really cool thing, what I like to do is I like to really just kind of come in and spray that up just a little bit like that. Almost kind of make that look a little bit more curtain. I mean, you can see the shine. Look how much hairspray is on her face. Like, whoops. Oh. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed my verses, you know, cutting the same way. <clears throat> cutting the same way, but styling it completely different. One side's out, one side's in, you know, and you can really kind of just, you know, I want you guys to kind of think about, you know, how you accessorize with your hair, how you style it can really vastly change the effect you're going for, the area you want to bring out, whatever it is. My name is Jake Thompson Hair. Again, like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.